Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, have another exciting little unboxing for you of the Civivi Mini Sandbar. This was brought to you today by SCB Guns and Ammo in Thomasville, North Carolina. Great little place, I shop there all the time. Sean's a great guy. Stop by, give him a visit. They have Civivi, they have QSP, Benchmade, Spyderco, uh, Cobra Tech, all kinds of different brands. About whatever you want, they've got it. So just stop by, check them out if you're ever in the North Carolina area. But uh, like I said, this one's brought to me by SCB Guns and Ammo. Sean's a cool guy, lets me check these out. So let's just break right into it. If you like this type of content, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Helps me out a lot. So, well, bam. Nothing. I'm just kidding. So, here we have the Mini Sandbar, one of the newer models from Civivi. Um, this is actually, of course, I've been into this box. Usually it comes in a plastic pouch that is inside of this pouch. But here we are. I opted for the Damascus and Micarta version. And might I just say, right off the bat, uh, Civivi has done a good job this time. Here lately, they've kind of been doing like, they've had the button lock whatever you want to call it, craze, and I've been kind of meh on Civivi here lately, but this is one of these that, like, they've, they've spiced it up. It's not the same, just same old plain pocket clip, blah, 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 whatever, same old shape, none of that. This is actually a, you know, a cool blade shape, um, a nice handle shape, uh, a cool titanium pocket clip, so this thing's pretty cool, so let's just do a over quick overview of it real quick and check it out. So we'll get started here with the blade shape. It is a recurved tanto. And is that technically a clip point? I don't know. <laughs> recurved tanto is the best I can say though. And quite frankly, you know, it's actually a pretty useful blade shape for everyday carry usage or for anything like that. Um, wow, that's descriptive, anything like that. But this uh, titanium pocket clip, it is not deep carry. But let me grab a pair of pants real quick and I will show you just how well this thing sits in the pocket so we'll grab the loose pants again right hand pocket so here you go it actually sits fairly deep in the pocket and that titanium clip civivi has started selling these on amazon for like 12 bucks a piece and they fit most civivi models i believe and i'm a deep carry pocket clip guy but i'm slowly starting to get turned around to more like titanium pocket clips like this and let me tell you uh, i'm i'm excited about this any other models that you know they want to put these on i'm up for it as long as they make it like backwards compatible with the deep carry clips where you can swap them out however you want to but we have this micarta here which i believe is linen micarta i am not sure and like i said this is just or if i haven't said it this is an unboxing and overview this is not an actual review so this is just taking peeks at it you know Looking at it, hopefully a full review will come down the road. Um, but yeah, so this is the Damascus blade. I believe this is a 9CR base, but if I'm not, again, not read up on the model enough, but I believe the, the normal model will come with either Nitro, B, Nitro V or 14C28 in. That is what Civivi has been working in here lately and doing a mighty fine job at it. But this is going to be, if you don't love the Elementum, if you don't really like the Knox, this is going to be about the right size to replace that, uh, to, you know, kind of fill that void in the lineup that Civivi has for a medium-sized knife. If you don't like the Elementum or the Knox, this is going to be perfect for you. So let's do, speaking of sizes, a size comparison. Here it is next to the QSP Penguin. Almost the exact same length, if not the exact same length. Here it is next to the... Petrified Fish Mini Beluga. Again, right there at the same length. Here it is next to the Spyderco Delica. Delica is a little longer. And here's one that actually would be a pretty close competitor to it at this price range. Uh, which I don't know, Benchmade's gone up on their prices here lately, so maybe not. But here is the Benchmade Mini Bug Out. <clears throat> so again, right there around the same size, around the same carry profile as well and the handle and everything like that. So, this uh, is actually a pretty, pretty well made knife, uh, pretty well done by Civivi as always. Uh, the edge on this thing is immaculate, very, very well sharpened. 
no spots, no burrs, no anything like that that will, other than of course the main burr, then you know, blah blah blah, whatever. <laughs> but there is no no catches, no any blemishes in the blade, no imperfections on the micarta handles, nothing like that. The micarta is finished very well. They did a great job on it, as always. T8 body screws, T8 pivot, and is that T8? Hold on a second. Are those T8 clip screws? They are T8. Wow. Hey, that is such a huge improvement from anything with T T6 pocket clip screws. You know, T8 is such a huge, huge improvement because you strip those T6s so easily. I've done it so many times, especially on Benchmade pocket clips. So to see T8 clip screws is amazing. I'm so happy to see that. Um, and also, you only have to have one screwdriver to take apart this entire knife and put it back together, if I'm not mistaken. So that is awesome. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, the access to the liner is actually really well, really well done. Uh, as you can see, a little bit of a cutout for it, and you can get to it really easily. The action on this thing. you. I'm going to do this off camera. Well, you can flick it out. You can... Uh, 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 you can whip it out, but I can't do it under the camera. But yeah, you can whip it out, but it is very tough. So it's a pretty strong detent. Clicks back into place pretty well, as you can see there. And the flipping action will not hurt your finger. You could sit here and play with this thing all day. Jumping on the flipper tab is pretty sweet as well. Wraps all the way around there to the bottom. I'm just, let's just check this thing out up close. I'm telling you, man, I'm loving, loving, loving the design on this thing, especially with that uh, titanium deep carry clip. That is awesome. So it's almost like a miniature Keen Natter is kind of a way to describe it, but it's called the Mini Sandbar. I think I've covered about anything I need to cover. Um, not a free spinning pivot. It's a captive pivot. Sorry about that. I had a phone call come in. So, anyways, <laughs> uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, Keen Natter. So, I think that's about it on this knife. I can't think of anything else much to talk about. Uh, my Carta Backspacer with a lanyard hole. Okay, I mean, you know, it's kind of out there in the open, but it doesn't really hinder the looks of the design. If anything, it might actually add to the looks of it. So I'm not too mad about that. Looks very well done. Uh, the Damascus on these are very nice. If I didn't mention it earlier, it's a 9CR based Damascus. So around your 440C of edge retention, you know, so pretty, pretty well done. Um, this is not a full finger choil, but you can choke up if you need to just to do little fine tasks and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and say Savivi knocked this one out of the park. Did a really, really good job with it this time. There's no major flaws, no, like, big problems that I can really see. It's, you know, ergonomics. Didn't even talk about ergonomics. Uh, it is a full four-finger grip. I have, <laughs> here you go, slightly larger than average hands, uh, if not just average hands. And uh, that one was for you, Freeman. And uh, so, yeah, this it, it fits in the hand really well, unless you have just super huge meaty paws then, you know, it, it's going to fit in your hand. And this is not a take it out and beat the snot out of it knife. This is a carry to work, carry to the park, carry to do whatever with your kids. You know, you don't want to have some huge honking pocket knife. Maybe carry it to church, carry it to an office job or something. Something that's not going to make Bethany pass out whenever, you know, you pull it out to cut your fruit. So, I would say all around, some of you did a great job. Um, very tame design but a very stylish design very well done design very well executed uh, the designer on this knife is eric eric oaks oaks is that how you say that i don't know but anyways big thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you did please like comment subscribe all that good stuff share the video whatever you want to do i would definitely go pick this up if you get a chance um like i said this is not necessarily a full review but like you know it it's a pretty big overview, so I, I could go ahead and tell you just from holding it here, it's worth the pickup. So, hope you enjoyed. Have a great day, and God bless.